Hello and welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorials channel. In this video, you will learn how to import a MySQL database using your terminal. Let's get started. Since I'm using Laragon as a web server and a database server in my local development environment, I can access the terminal from the Laragon UI and import the database. But the way is exactly the same if you are using a Windows terminal or a Linux terminal. Open the Laragon UI. If you are using the Laragon as well on your local development environment, otherwise open your terminal in the Windows. Then you should make sure that the Apache and MySQL running, or you should at least get the MySQL service running. You can also verify if the Apache service is running by opening a browser, typing localhost and hitting the enter key. If you get similar information as displayed on the screen, you can be sure that the Apache service is running. In the same way, you can verify if the MySQL service is running by opening a new tab, typing localhost slash phpMyAdmin and hitting the enter key. After you get the phpMyAdmin UI, log into it and create a new database. By default, the MySQL database login username is root and the password is blank. Click on login. To create a new database, click on the databases. Give a name to a database. For example, my large database. The common collision would be utf mb4 underscore general ci. Then click on create. A new empty database has been created. I'm going to import a .sql file which is currently in my downloads directory here. Inspecting the size of the file, we can see it's 191 MB. No matter what the size of the database is, we, we can easily import it into a database using the terminal. Now to import this large database to this empty database here in the phpMyAdmin, open your terminal, either the Laragon terminal from here on the Laragon UI or your Windows terminal. Click on cancel if you get prompt like this. Before actually running the import command, it will be easier if you copy the database to the project directory. Later you can delete this file on a .sql extension. Now go back to the terminal, change the current working directory to the project directory. And verify if the file is there using the command ls space hyphen l space pipe space grep some initials of the database dump file name you will see your database dump file listed here finally run the database import command which is mysql space hyphen u space hyphen p your database name you can copy the name from the psp my admin and right click to paste here on the terminal then give a space smaller than symbol space the database term file name here you should make sure that you type the less than symbol if you type greater than symbol by any chance or by any mistake it will perform a different thing oops i forgot to specify the database username let me put a username as root and hit enter it will prompt for the database password which in my case is empty so just hit enter if the password is correct it starts importing your database it may take some time depending upon your dump file or the size of the source database after it is completed the cursor will go to the next line i pause this video here and will be back after the import is completed okay the cursor is on the next line which means the import is complete to verify go to the psp my admin page and simply click on the database and you will see the tables here scrolling all the way down you can see the number of tables imported and the size of the database okay friends that's it for this video i hope the video was useful to you please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon thank you for watching and i hope to see you in another video goodbye